Welcome to this video on how to install the latest version of Apache Flink in standalone mode. In this video, we will walk you through the process of setting up the environment, downloading the latest binary release of Apache Flink, and running it in standalone mode on Ubuntu. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be ready to use Apache Flink for your data processing tasks. Before we get started, make sure you have Java 11 installed on your system. If you don't already have Java 11 installed, please refer to our previous video tutorial on how to install Java 11. Now let's download the latest binary release of Apache Flink. We need first to get the link from the official Apache Flink website. Then we copy the URL of latest Flink binary release, v1.7.1. We will use wjet command to download, so type wjet and the link URL that we just copied. The download will take some time. After downloading, extract the archive using tar xsf with the appropriate file name for the version you downloaded. Let's check if it's well extracted, just type lses, and here we see the Flink directory. I recommend to rename it to Flink to make things simple. By using the mvlinux command, now the Flink directory and name Flink, let's navigate to the Flink directory. Use CD to change your directory to the extracted Flink folder. List the contents of the directory to confirm that you're in the right place. Now we'll start a local Flink cluster using bin.startcluster.h. Let's open the Apache Flink web interface to monitor your Flink cluster. Open your web browser. Go to localhost.8081 to access the Flink web interface and monitor your cluster's status and jobs. Congratulations. You have successfully installed Apache Flink in standalone mode on your Ubuntu system. You're now ready to develop and run real-time data processing applications using Apache Flink.